The period of trigonometric functions means that there are an infinite number of positive and negative angles that satisfy an equation. If we do not restrict the solution, then we need to determine the general solution to the equation. For example, determine the general solution for sine of a is equal to 0, 7, correct to one decimal place. We are asked to determine the general solution for sine of a is equal to 0, 7. From 0 to 360 degrees we will draw a rough sketch of a sine graph, therefore in the period or domain from 0 to 360 degrees our sine graph will look like this. We are looking for all the angles that will give us a value of 0, 7, say if 0, 7 is somewhere here on your graph. We will see that just between 0 and 360 degrees we already have two possible solutions for the angle A. We can imagine as the period of the graph changes, and as it increases and we go towards the negative angles as well, we're going to have many more solutions for angle A. This is where general solutions are very useful. The method we are going to use in order to solve the general solution is first find a reference angle and then place our ratio in the correct quadrant in order to find the general solution. If we've got sine of a is equal to 0, 7, we find a reference angle. On our calculator type in shift, sine and the ratio 0, 7. So we type in 0, 7 and close the brackets. We get a reference angle of 44,427,004. Don't round off just yet. Keep the entire angle. We will round off at the end. Remember that rounding off too soon can lead to some estimation errors. So we'll keep that as it is for now. Our reference angle is 44,427,004. With the general solution, we look at the period of the sine graph and we see that it repeats every 360 degrees. Every multiple of 360, which is times by k, will give us different solutions for angle A. So we say plus 360k to include all of these solutions. k is always an integer value, so it will only take on whole numbers. We then use the Cartesian plane to place the ratio and find out where a sign is positive and that happens in the first and second quadrant. One of our answers for our general solution will be A is equal to, in the first quadrant, 44,4 degrees plus K times 360. And the other solution will come about in the second quadrant, where A will be equal to 180 minus 44,427,004. Don't round off at this point, because we will do that on a calculator. Plus K times 360. So on our calculator, to get to our general solution, type in 180 minus that previous answer, and that gives us 135,6. So 135,6 degrees plus k times 360, or 44.4 plus k times 360, are the two equations that give us the general solution for the equation. Sine of a is equal to 0, 7. By substituting different values for k, we can find out specific angles along our sine graph where the graph will take on the value 0, 7. Depending on what k is, we are going to get different answers for the value of the angle that we are looking for.